Hi, welcome back. How are you doing today? Today, I will revisit the horizontal curve method and give it a twist. So let's get started. As always, I will start by duplicating the current layer. Next, a black and color adjustment to remove the colors. Let me move this adjustment to the duplicated layer. Okay, let me add a curves adjustment and make the curve horizontal, which will result in a 50% gray image. If I send the blend mode of the parent layer to soft light, the end result will be the same as our starting point, as the 50% gray has no effect in the soft light blend mode. If I now change the curves adjustment layer from a horizontal line to a dip in the middle, we get this cool, nice, contrasty image, which immediately gives more depth to the portrait. Let me hide the layer below, so you can see what is exactly happening. What we have done is that we made some part of the gray map darker and lighter, and when applied with a soft light blend mode, this affects the original image in a similar way. Now comes the cool part. We can adjust the black and white adjustment so we can control per color which areas we want to brighten or darken. Pretty neat. And to really finish it up, let me add a recolor adjustment, which will give the image a color tint you like. As you see, the recolor adjustment does not look good. To better blend it, let me change the blend settings and have its range applied from 50% darkness. Looks much better, doesn't it? Now we have a good base to adjust the color effect. I can change the curves adjustment to adjust the intensity of the effect. I can also adjust the black and white adjustment to control the strength for specific color range. And finally, I can adjust the recolor adjustment to control the color tint. Before I continue with some other examples, let's organize this in an affinity manner. Let me group the three adjustments, move it to the original layer. The group has the pass through blend mode. And this is why we are now seeing the gray color image. Before I correct the blend mode of the group, let me adjust the recolor so you can see what's happening. And let me also adjust the black and white so you can see how this affects the recolor again. Okay, let me set the blend mode of the group to soft light. Perfect. Let me fine tune the adjustment to get the effect I'm looking for. Wow. Look at the before and the after. Just amazing. Because we organized everything in a group, I can just copy the whole group and apply it to another layer. So let me copy it and go to another layer. If I now paste the group to this layer, the results are just stunning. If needed, I can adjust the color to get the look I'm looking for. Here is another example. Pretty cool photo, but let me enable the group I had copied earlier to this layer. That is amazing. So much drama and depth compared to the original. One thing you might have noticed is that I used an additional adjustment, the invert adjustment. When you want to use an invert adjustment, you will need to make sure the curves adjustment line should be the opposite, meaning that instead of a dip in the middle, you should have a rise in the middle. Actually, the invert doesn't do anything special. If the curves adjustment layer is an exact inverse, the end result will be the same. However, sometimes working differently can help you be more creative. Let's continue with the next image. I applied two groups on this layer. The effect works very well, and when both are applied, you get this very high contrasty image. And the nice thing about this technique is that you can adjust very easily and play with it until you find a great look. Pretty cool. Okay, the next image. Same idea, two groups I already had added. Just to show you they are the same, let me paste the group again. 
I really like this effect. It brings so much drama and mystery to the photo. So, now our final image. Let me zoom out and turn on the effect group. Pretty amazing. Let me turn off the recolor adjustment and turn on the eyes adjustment group I made earlier. As you see, the adjustments on the eye look so much better with the effect turned on. Why? Because the areas around the eyes have much more contrast. Let me quickly adjust the layers to give it a look I like personally. Another adjustment I forgot to mention you can do with this effect is to play with the blend range of the recolor. This will allow you to control the areas the coloring will be applied to. Before I leave you, let me show you another trick you can use with this effect group. If I change the blend mode of the group from soft light to vivid light and change the blend range as shown, you almost get the same end result as soft light. However, there's a small difference. Let me quickly put them side by side by duplicating it and applying a mask. So, on the left is the soft light and on the right is the vivid light. Now, the nice thing is that I can play with the blend range of the vivid light group. Wow, look at those eyes. Let me adjust the recolor and give the eyes another color tint. Super cool. What I will do right now is mask out the whole group and have it only applied to the eyes. Amazing. Okay, let me speed up and clean up the temporary mask and enable the left eye too. And the lips. The effect on the eyes is of course too much. Let's decrease the opacity. Just amazing. Here is the before and the after. I hope I have given you some ideas how you can use this method for making your image extraordinary. Thank you so much for watching.